Good morning everybody, Mr. Dahl here, and today we're going to do a quick recap of what we learned about osmosis, or the diffusion of water. Diffusion goes from high to low, we know that that is a type of passive transport, and we're going to take a look at what happens under a few different conditions. Those namely being isotonic, hypotonic, and hypotonic. So let's jump right in. First off, isotonic. What happens when a cell is placed in an isotonic solution? Now take this opportunity to pause the video and think through this, draw out your own problem, and determine what's going to happen under these conditions. Then play for the answer and we'll talk through it together. Alright, hopefully you were able to think through that yourself, but let's go through it together. So, isotonic, what happens? Well, isotonic, we know that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We know that we have the same amount of solute on both sides, same balance of concentration of water on both sides under isotonic conditions. So what's going to happen? Well, we're still going to have water moving in and out of the cell membrane under isotonic conditions, but there's no net movement. There's no movement of water going in or out that's going to change the concentration on either side because we already have the same concentration. So what's the effect? The cell stays the same size. All right, that was easy, so let's move on to a little bit tougher problem. What happens when a cell is placed in a hypotonic solution? So now, take this time to pause, draw out this problem for yourself, think through it, and determine where the water is going to move and what's going to happen to the cell membrane. And then play the video, and we'll talk through it together. Okay, so now hypotonic solution, what's that mean? It means there's more water in the solution, so we're, if the solution's hypotonic, what's inside the cell? It's got to be hypertonic. So let's draw that first. Bunch of stuff inside the cell, only a few things outside the cell. So where's the water going to want to move? It's always going to want to move towards the hypertonic where the, the water is going to want to move to where the stuff is, the most stuff. So we have a big arrow into the cell, and then a little bit of water leaving the cell. So what's going to happen? Water from outside in the hypotonic solution is going to move inside the hypertonic cell. So if we pump something full of water, if we put water into a balloon, what's going to happen to the balloon? It's going to expand, and the cell membrane is going to get filled up with water. So last but not least, what happens when a cell is placed into a hypertonic solution? Take this time to think through the problem, pause the video, draw where your hypertonic side is, draw the movement of water, and then decide what's going to happen to the cell membrane. All right, so now let's think through this together. Hypertonic solution, what's that mean? It means most of the stuff is outside. I'm drawing tons of stuff outside the cell. Only a little bit of stuff inside the cell. So we determined that the stuff always, or the water, excuse me, through osmosis always moves towards where the stuff is. Try and balance out the stuff. Spread that stuff out. So where's most of our water going to move? Well, it's going to want to leave the cell. Move towards the stuff. Move towards the hypertonic side. So a lot of water going out only a little bit of water coming back in. So if we take that balloon that we filled up with water, let some of it out, what's going to happen to the cell or the cell membrane? Well, it's going to shrink. So we have our cell shrinking in on itself and cell membrane getting smaller. We're losing water. There's a net movement of water out of the cell. Alright, I hope that video has been helpful. Remember to always think through the problem. If you don't have an isotonic solution, you're always going to have a hypertonic and a hypotonic side. Label the hypertonic side first. Draw your stuff, and water is going to move towards the hypertonic, whether that be outside the cell or inside the cell. Alright, hopefully that's been helpful. Talk to you later.